Here's live Doppler radar again. We are seeing some relatively moderate to heavy snow at times along Interstate 20 here. That's where you see those darker shades of blue anywhere from Van Zant into parts of Smith between Lindale and Tyler. That's along Highway 69 there where we're seeing some of that heavier snow and then even into parts of Greg and Russ County. We continue to see that snow as opposed to that freezing rain and sleet and that's partially a good thing because snow actually provides a little more traction for us when we're driving around, which I highly discourage you to do today. But again, we'll go ahead and pause the radar real quick, and I do want to draw a line of what to expect. Again, it is Henderson County, Southern Smith County, parts of Russ County, all the way into northwestern Panola County to the north of the line I just drew. That is where you're seeing to the snow, but this continues to slowly progress off to the north. Now to the south of this line, that is where we are seeing that mixture of perhaps some snow, sleet, and freezing rain, and that will cause pretty well hazardous travel conditions, especially if you're traveling to the south along Highway 69 from Tyler to Jacksonville, also from Athens to Tyler along Highway 31 as you get into Chandler there. Anderson County seeing all of that freezing rain. We'll go ahead and zoom out once again for you. You can see in parts of deep east Texas, we are not at all exempt from this either. We are seeing some heavy precipitation at times for parts of Nacogdoches. This is all freezing rain here. Nacogdoches County, San Augustine, Shelby and Sabine County. So you can notice that this line has slowly marched off to the north as we have gone through the morning. I do want to show you what's going on with our temperatures because this has a lot to do with it. Our temperatures in deep east Texas, where we are currently seeing that freezing rain, uh, we do have those temperatures that are in the 20s at this point. This is 7 o'clock this morning, and as we advance through time, Notice what happens to this line of freezing rain. It will continue to march northward by 9 o'clock. We're seeing some light freezing rain for areas along into the south of Interstate 20 there. By 10 o'clock, we're seeing temps in the teens, even some lower 20s there for some of our central and eastern counties. By 4 o'clock, this is when things do start to shift a little further off to the east. Now notice, everything's light by that point, and it's after 4 o'clock. That is when I think we are finally going to see the end of all of this wintry weather with the exception of a few flurries tonight and tomorrow as you can see showing up there for parts of our central and eastern counties at seven o'clock we're still seeing the clouds temperatures again hanging in the 20s for the majority of tomorrow i think there is a possibility that we may get up to 30, but I do not think we're going to get up to freezing. Maybe a few peaks of sunshine by 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, but that's about as good as we do. So today's precipitation types again to the north. I think it stays mostly snow, snow to some freezing rain for our central counties and where we are already seeing that freezing rain. It's going to stay all freezing rain for places like Palestine, Jacksonville pointing off to the south into the southeast. Now, of course, freezing rain, it's no joke. It can cause some severe hazards, especially on those power lines, those roadways. Meteorologist Alex Moore is going to talk more about how much ice it takes to cause these problems. Alex. Right, we're going to see a little bit of ice this morning. Those of you to the south are going to see a little bit more. For us here uh, around the metro area north of I-20, we're going to be in that light glaze to about a tenth of an inch. So uh, you could see some slick spots. There already is plenty of ice and snow on the ground. But for those of you that's going to see a little bit more into that quarter to a half an inch of ice, that's where we could see some problems. Once we get over a half an inch of ice, that's when we start to see more weight put on those power lines and those trees. For uh, the area looks like we're not going to see uh, a t about a tenth of an inch south of the uh, I-20. That's where we're going to see more of that ice. We're going to continue to see that into the day. And then eventually, like Carson said, we're going to have that uh, tapering off towards the middle of the day. And then it looks like we'll start to see a little bit of dissipation towards the end of our day, getting into uh, the rest of Wednesday. But it looks like driving conditions are still going to be rough throughout the day today and tomorrow because 
Uh, Carson, we're going to be at least fr uh, under freezing until about Friday, correct? Yeah, unfortunately, one of the longest periods we've ever seen below freezing here in East Texas, certainly. But Friday afternoon, that's going to be the big day. We're at 35. We warm into the 40s, 50s on Sunday. We're at 58 on Monday, back into the 60s by next Tuesday. Of course, for the latest up-to-the-date information, you can always visit our website. That's KETK.com.